So there are a few equations. Yes, I have one. One equation. Well, well thought. Sorry. And uh, this, this, this one will be, uh, I think it's a very interesting origin of this talk because in one other meetup before we had a computer with a background here and someone asked whose painting was in this you know, background of the computer and nobody knew in the room so people Google searched by the end of the meetup we somehow found out the author of the, of the, of the, of the painting. But Hans thought that's not good enough. We need to have AI that can do this immediately. And he will tell us about his effort to create yeah, such a thing. So yeah. Hans, please tell us. Yeah, exactly. And I think, uh, yeah, you highlighted, you mentioned a little bit uh, these neural networks, this deep learning. It's just a tool uh, that is tremendously powerful. And what I would like to do is just show you a little bit how, you know, in a, in a small use case, you just apply deep learning. And I think, um, so we have all the code on GitHub also, we can also walk through it a little bit in the break if you want. And I think what you personally can take from that is just an inspiration to also, um, like, if you haven't yet, dive into deep learning, um, do such a small thing, um, and just, uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's for fun, I think. And uh, also, I heard the, the, yeah, so the, the jobs are also well paid. Uh, so um, yeah, so yeah, let's go through this. Yeah, it's um, as, as Dan was said, like uh, we use AI to determine the artist of a picture. Um, so just first to start with, okay, so just in general, image images, uh, image processing it has just been a tremendous amount of success. That's like when was that? You remember? It was like last year here. Yeah, something like this. All right. So you know these these typical uh, computer vision algorithms they detect everything in a, in a picture like. Uh, you see here that there's a person, another person, it takes, uh, it takes uh, the chairs even correctly. There's a, there's a cell phone here. Um, so there's a lot of, you know, they, they allow you to assess the, the visible content, the contact, uh, sorry, content of a picture easily. Um, but then, now what's with our problem? I mean, how do you determine this invisible information? There's nowhere written uh, in this, in this uh, desktop background that this is the um, the, the artist is never written there. Um, so what we're going to do here is we use um, the style of this picture and then we use the style as it is used in, in generative um, deep learning. That's the actual picture, right? I, I, it's the right one? Yeah. Okay, so then um, the, the paper that I used, that I mainly used was this uh, a neural algorithm of artistic style, the archive is here, it's 2015, so um, not super old, but still like a little bit simple enough that you can um, go through it on your own. I mean, if you look at the papers now, I think you need like this uh, uh, thousands of GPUs. Um, but it's, that works actually on this on this laptop. It has a GPU, so um, that works. Um, so what this algorithm does is it takes uh, two pictures, one where you determine the style of the picture, and then some content picture, both is actually in Bornheim. Uh, so this is the niche castle, uh, whatever. So but what you do is you determine the style of this picture and then generate an image with this content, but you transfer the style um, onto that. And I think, you know, some graffiti by one up. I think what you can see is uh, it really um, has this, this um, spray um, painting um, can on the style. Um, so we're going to use that um, to go a bit more into the technical details. Um, so we use a pre-trained convolutional neural network. So there on the right hand side, we see um, just a general sketch of it. We have some input image, just the robot there. And what you do is um, you have some, some filter um, that you apply to part of the image. So just you know, look at here. And then you determine the feature, um, and then this, you store this feature in feature maps. You have multiple features and at the beginning of this um, of this network. So in these first layers, we will do things like edge detection. So this is here. Um, these are filters. So what um, for the first layers? Um, so you see, it's like um, this is. I think this is just a horizontal line. Uh, and then we have here like um, multiple horizontal lines, the diagonal line, um, these kind of things. <coughs> so what this, what this feature map here, 
will tell you is just that it will say, okay, here's a here's a horizontal line. Um, then on the here on the bottom right, um, this is just a um, visualizing visualizing a little bit these features. So what this is, it's it's uh, image crops which yield to a high feature activation. Um, so it's not the feature itself, but the, the image which yields the high feature activation. Um, and they are grouped like um, so. This is one feature and just multiple uh, examples um, of this of this one feature. So you clearly see that um, this this feature down here this just looks for green. So if you have green in the image, you will get a high activation. Um, this looks for some vertical line with some greenish color. Um, and these are the uh, these low level features. On the like more mid level features, you see it getting more complicated. Um, so here there are, there are circles, yeah? and then here there are, there are multiple lines. Um, so, but just to give you an idea of what a feature is. And what this paper actually does is it defines the style of a picture as the correlation um, of features. And uh, we have again a look here. So the style of the, of the feature, so these, these are just these feature maps and you just so this is feature I, uh, feature J, and you just sum up over them for a particular layer in this uh, in this neural network. And this is then the uh, the, the style is a, it's a uh, matrix. Um, uh, you have one matrix for each layer. Um, and now, if you look at what this actually did here, this this uh, generative um, uh, algorithm. Um, you can see kind of what kind of what, what features you have here in this style image that get transferred. So first of all, this is on a on a garage. So you see all these horizontal lines. It's exactly what we what we just talked about. But you know the style is a correlation of the features. So you have the feature like here's a horizontal line and there's a horizontal line. So there's a high correlation of the feature of a horizontal line. That's exactly what you also see here. Right? This looks like this garage um, at the um, there's also this like other feature correlations like color always goes with same color, let's say. So here you have just you know if there's green, it's just green all over. It's like a green patch. Whereas here it's a bit more you know we have green and, and some green leaves, some blue sky, and some some brown um, wood. Um, but here you don't see this anymore, right? So this feature uh, and this, this style is clearly there. And this is also what what makes this this picture look like a graffiti art. Also, so I think I put here the, there are these, these yellow edges, um, yellow outlined black strokes. But here you see like um, um, around the black, there's always some yellow. And it puts this here also, here, um, here a little bit. So um, yeah, this is what, what this is. So now, it is a, a measure of style. As I said, like you have uh, the style is now one matrix. Per a layer, and this was so. This was PGG 19. This is a 19 layer, rather small um, uh, network. And yeah, just yeah, each each matrix has the dimension feature times feature. Um, so um, now we'll just use this to identify an artist. So what one can do is one just downloads a bunch of uh, pictures. Um, I just chose like five. We knew that it was uh, so. The artist is among them. You just download some set of um, pictures, um, and then by looking at them, you can already also tell that uh, the artist always paints in the, in the same way. You know, whether it's impressionist like this Monet with this with these dots, or like uh, Picasso, very abstract. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, I downloaded these these paintings. And then just create a database with this, uh, with the style matrix, um, for style matrices um, for for each painting. Um, so then in this, this database, I just have uh, what is this like 30, uh, um, 30 <coughs> styles sitting around, and then I just calculated the distance to the uh, style of the target picture, so the background, the wallpaper. Um, yeah, and. Uh, Give some, so what you see here is very style matrices, so you just do the difference, um, some square, and just some normalization values, they, so they come from the, from the paper, 
Um, I mean, it, you can imagine it helps a little bit. So this is like the, the height and the width of the feature maps. Just, you know, it helps a little bit. They did all the research. Um, yes, and then we can just order the references um, by distance. And um, that's the result. So on the, on the right, you see um, the code, you know, uh, and it shows. So what is this now? This is these, these um, 30 pictures ordered by the distance that uh, each picture has to this um, um, target picture that you want to find out. And you see, so this king K4, um, this has the smallest distance, and then all the king Ks, the five king Ks, they all have a small distance. Then it's also a little bit like a Monet, um, and the least like a Picasso. And also, if you look at these, uh, at these pictures, so this was the artist that we wanted to find out. Um, this is this king K4, so yeah, it's like the similar style. I don't know, what's the style it's like? It's not uh, as abstract as a Picasso. So this is the picture which has the largest style difference. Um, yeah, and then one also sees, yeah, but one sees this clear grouping and that it's a king page. Um, yeah, that's uh, already all that I wanted to show. Um, yeah, to summarize, um, yeah, task to determine this artist of the picture. We feed the uh, unknown image through a deep neural network. We use the feature correlations to represent the picture style, and then query our database with these um, uh, to determine the closest style and therefore the artist. And that's it. Thank you.